Hi everyone, Nima Romani, trial lawyer, Harvard Law grad, if you didn't know that already, and I'm here today to talk to you about jury duty. Most people hate jury duty. They don't want to serve as jurors, even though we lawyers need them to decide different civil and criminal disputes. So I'm going to talk to you about the different ways that you can get off jury duty the right way. So to serve as a juror, you have to be at least 18 years old, a U.S. citizen, and a resident of the county or district where the court sits. So if you're not one of those, you don't have to serve as a juror. Just let the clerk of the court know and you will be excused. But there's a few other types of people that aren't eligible to serve as jurors. Let's say you're on parole or probation for a felony or you're a convicted sex offender. Good news is you can't serve as a juror. And importantly, in California, if you've served as a juror in the past 12 months, you don't have to serve again. Or if you're currently serving as a juror in another type of case, it could be a grand jury, or let's say you've been summoned in state court, but you're currently serving in federal court, you don't have to serve as a juror. Now, most people, you can be a lawyer, you can be a judge, you are eligible for jury duty. There is an exception for sworn peace officers. But let's say you don't qualify for any of these. The number one reason I see people get off jury duty is because they don't speak English. The judge will ask questions to see how proficient you are. But if you're watching this video, you probably speak English well enough to serve as a juror. So we talked about all the ways you can automatically be excluded from serving as a juror. But the judge does have discretion to exclude certain jurors if they would suffer a hardship. So let's go through the different types of hardships that may get you out of jury duty. One would be if you don't have transportation to or from the court. The other would be if you have a mental or physical condition that would make it difficult for you to serve as a juror. We talked about people that have a difficult time speaking English, but let's say you can't see the evidence or hear the evidence, that may get you disqualified from serving as a juror. Let's say you have to take care of a dependent, someone who's very young or very old, and they rely on you for childcare. That can also get you out of jury duty. Now, the big question I always get is financial hardship. You know, my employer doesn't pay me. Most of the time, that's not gonna get you excluded from jury duty unless you could show a significant financial hardship. Maybe you're the sole breadwinner from, for your family, and the trial is gonna last a long time. Let's say the trial is gonna last more than a month. We call those long cause cases or trials. And usually what the judge will do is do a whole separate voir dire or jury selection regarding hardships. So if your employer pays for jury duty or you have unlimited PTO, you're probably not gonna qualify for a hardship. So just know if it's a shorter trial, even if your employer doesn't pay, you're likely not gonna get off jury duty for that basis. Thanks everyone for watching. As always, please make sure to like, subscribe, and ring the bell for notifications.